How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I've been looking at cars all day. I'm not even lying. I'm trying to trade the Accord for something. I know that might upset some of you, but trust me, what I have in mind is going to be much, much cooler. Anyways, while I'm still searching, I might as well go on the good old fashioned Facebook marketplace and offer up and take a look at what they have for sale. We're going to see if these builds are rice or nice and see if there's a little flaw in their description you guys sent me these listings so if you guys see any out there that you want me to look at send them to my gmail drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com let's go ahead and dive right in also comment down below what i should get all right this one kind of sketch kind of sketch if you ask me it's a 2004 nissan 350z performance coupe two-door he's asking 15 racks for it claims it only has 2,000 miles it don't have 2,000 miles, and I'm going to debunk that right now. So looking at the car, one, he parks it on grass. That's, that's I don't know. It kind of says a lot. If you don't have driveway space, probably you shouldn't be uh, affording the car. Anyways, the, the exterior of the car actually doesn't look half bad. He's got some decent looking wheels. I like the concave on him. I don't like the Home Depot style diffuser and the weird wicker bill ducktail shit. Just the ducktail's a plenty. You don't need to add to it. It looks weird. It looks like it's got like a fucking weird haircut. I need a haircut, by the way. Comment down below where I should get my haircut. Also, the hood kind of looks goofy. It looks like they just went in Forza and just added all the hood scoops. We got two of these and fucking four of those. And then we got hood clips to go with it. It just looks kind of goofy. Like, why do you need these ducts? If your air filter duct is over here, what the fuck are these ducts for? Headlights look iffy. Paint don't look half bad throughout the car. It's not the worst thing ever. The interior looks a little musty, um, but not too bad. He's got a D&D &D wheel, which is... That's whatever, I guess. I, I personally don't like their stuff. Uh, I know their D&D &D hubs are really trash, but uh, I, I don't know much about the wheels. It looks like he has an energy hub. Um, he still has his cruise control stock down here, so I guess that's helpful. Okay, so here's where it gets really iffy. One, we see it has 142,000 miles on the odometer, so clearly doesn't have 2,000, okay? Now, he's got a story for that. It's story time. Everyone pull up, get some cookies, a warm glass of milk, because it is story time. He claims it has a brand new forged motor. So, claiming that is one thing. He also says it was $9,000, which... I call cap because it's just a DE, as you can see in this photo. You just see the one intake. So it's just a DE. Uh, he didn't even go with an HR, but it's a brand new forged motor. Now you might be thinking, well, Drew, that's possible. People do that all the time. They're kind of stupid sometimes. Yeah, no, it, people do make dumb decisions and they might build a forged DE. I'm not saying that, but I don't think that forged DE would uh, have a leaky valve cover gasket. Uh, just doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound... Uh, all that confident inspiring i just seems a little iffy if i do say uh, he also says he has thirty thousand on the tranny uh it's 2022 we cannot say tranny anymore that is not our word it is a transmission from this part out he says he has receipts and everything doesn't show said receipts just says nine thousand new hoses thousand dollars where are you buying these hoses these hoses be expensive uh new ac unit 30. I feel like you gotta flip those two. I just it just doesn't add up. Short throw shifter, hundred intake, eighty. That is the cheapest intake I've ever heard of. High flow cats, four hundred muffler, two hundred carbon deck out, two hundred. <coughs> Nismo seats, four hundred. New radio, two hundred. Sprayed calipers, fifty. Tow hook, eighty. Tune, nine hundred. Headlights and taillights, four hundred. Like, dude, his prices are all over the place. I feel like he's just typing in random numbers because they don't they don't add up. Headlights and taillights. If you're paying four hundred dollars for headlights and taillights. That's some cheap Wish.com eBay shit. Like, if I just Google 350Z headlights, already 300 bucks, 800 bucks, just, just for headlights. We're talking just headlights. If you want some cool projector shit, 230. If you want some sick ass, you know, uh, whatever these are, well, I guess these are infinities, but whatever, 400. Shouldn't be a combined 400. Those are cheap, is what I'm trying to say. Front splitter, 270. It just, I don't like it. It just seems, uh, his prices seem really iffy carbon bumper inlet 50 bucks no a real carbon bumper inlet it's not 50 bucks catch pins 1300 this dude's trying to swindle someone out there and he said tranny again 1400 wait he listed taillights twice headlights and taillights 400 and then he said depot taillights 290 wait ac delete didn't he say he got new ac or something yeah what the fuck he said new ac unit 30 bucks ac delete zero bucks 
Don't add up. Don't add up. This is the sketchiest car I've ever seen. He says 15k for this week only. Buy now. <laughs> the deal of the lifetime. You get new AC and no AC at the same time. Cool. Yeah, that's a sketch. Mega sketch. Don't like that. I I don't. I wouldn't say the car is riced. I just think it's probably a piece of shit. Rice or nice? It's right in the middle. Can't really tell. Didn't really do much to it. It's probably more rice than nice if I had to say something, but uh, yeah, he also claims he paid 2500 for Enki wheels, which I don't know about that one. All right, next car. We have a 2001 Dodge Neon for five racks. So this one sold. Sorry, it's off the market. Deleted its Bumble account. Uh, so this one's taken now. Dodge Neon. You look at the front end, you think kind of WRX vibes, you know, just whatever. It's cool. You got the carbon hood. You got the pool noodles underneath the hood. This one's starting to look real bad. It's a 16 valve, two liter with the pool noodles. I don't know where the purple came from. I get the blue because it matches the exterior. Don't get the purple. This guy must have ran out of blue at AutoZone. Uh, the wheels got to have the matching blue drum brakes to the matching blue weird decals with the spiking lug nuts. Non-matching, however, different shade of blue. Carbon hood, I guess, you know, if you if you really want to make a bad decision, carbon hood. The Viper logo, definitely not a Viper. The rear end is the weirdest thing. This just pisses me off. You got the offset license plate, which would just annoy my OCD. You got square, my bad, rectangle exhaust tips. Look like they could launch hot dogs out perpendicular. And then you got like the shittiest taillight setup ever. Like they don't even look straight across the car. Like that doesn't look like it would line up with this if I held a ruler to it. <laughs> this car just fucking pisses me off. Why are there no taillights here? You could have done something cool with like just straight circles or something, but you chose to just fill them in with body filler or you just spray paint it over the factory ones. I don't fucking know. I feel like it would be easier to just leave the factory ones in, mold them in, spray paint it. The interior, a similar theme, although he does have an authentic butt plug for a shifter. Also has a little screen down there to watch porn and use the butt plug at the same time. Multi-purpose right there. Very smart, very uh, genius idea. He uh, painted everything he could to match the blue. We got the uh, super high-end manual windows. Gotta have that. Definitely luxury car. Yeah. What is this? Why does this girl look so distorted? What are you watching? Lord of the fucking Rings? It looks like Lord of the Rings. I don't even watch Lord of the Rings, but it just looks stupid. I just imagine Lord of the Rings looks like that. Steering wheel actually doesn't look half bad. Like, I wouldn't want it, but for this car, I was expecting worse. Yeah, this car's bad. The flaming mirror, though, that's fire. Literally. That's fucking fire. I like that. That That's pretty, that's pretty hot. Although this guy cheaped out, couldn't get the LED dome light, so... He's broke. Hashtag broke. He did all this. Couldn't even get the LED bulb. Pfft. Bozo. Yeah, this thing somehow sold. <laughs> I don't know how it fucking sold. I don't know what junkyard picked this thing up, but she gone. Uh, let's read his description. I'm kind of curious. Fuck, I got to learn Spanish. All right. Well, moving on. Next car, 1999 BMW 328i. Classic. 99 classic. Just a few years after I was born. This one had zero miles. Fresh off the lot classic the lambo doors installed at the lot very classic somehow a salvage title with zero miles that's odd three thousand dollars this one's still up for sale this first picture was taken before 99 because i don't even think cameras were this shitty back then this is like a 1940s camera right here somehow updated into color we see uh the young gentleman that owns said car right here. Either that or he's just jealous of said car. He looks like he's pointing out like, this This your shitbox? This your car? Kind of looks like he's pointing at it like that. Lambo doors. If you got a BMW, you got to put Lambo doors on it, you know, because uh, BMWs are the, the greatest car manufacturer on earth. And uh, if it doesn't have Lambo doors, then why even have it? Um, so here we go. This is like, you know, back in the day. Now, it even looks like the same old shitty red van is still back there. Started from the bottom, still at the bottom, you know? It'd be like that sometimes. Laugh ain't fair. This dude loves his Lambo doors. Does every photo have the Lambo doors up? I mean, <laughs> you got them for some reason, am I right? Might as well have them. Maybe some of you sound guys can tell me why the subwoofers, whiffers, subwoofers, waffles, penis. Uh, so maybe you guys can explain why they're enclosed. Why are they in a gas chamber? What, what are they doing in there? Does it make it sound more deep? I mean, I know if you have a big sub box, cool, but... You're supposed to box in the sub box? I don't know about all that. I don't know about that, that sound stuff. Also, very little practicality of this. You could probably fit a water bottle over here. Maybe a t-shirt on this side. Very little practicality. 
The interior looks pretty grimy. Looks like it needs a good wipe down. Yep, that's uh, that's some mold probably. This dude's been eating nothing but Taco Bell for the last 20 years. Uh, headlights need to be restored. Yeah, I mean, if it didn't have the Lambo doors, I probably wouldn't have talked about it. But uh, Lambo doors are just straight fire. Does he have the same wheels too? Kind of looks like it, although they look black now. Unless it's just a shitty illusion. Or they're just that dirty. Probably never cleans them. It's just brake dust, you know, from 20 years. So, yeah, piece of shit. He only wants three grand for it. Uh, it's got Lambo doors, 20-inch rims, deep dish, taking all music out. Three grand solid. No liquids, just solid. Gases? Get that shit out of here. Uh, needs catalytic converter. Needs Cadillac converter. <laughs> That's it. Runs great. Needs tags. Or I can get them for a price. Cool. Sounds like a good deal. To an idiot. All right, next car. Uh, this is gonna be a quickie. 2006 Toyota Prius Max Camber. Don't know what model that is, but that's an interesting one. Uh, this must have been a, a a short run for this Toyota Prius. I also really fucking hate the lame ass bandanas on the windows. Like, are they gonna start wearing pants next? If a car wore pants, would it wear it like this or like this? You know, like what the fuck? I don't like that. I don't like bandanas on cars. I think it's the stupidest thing. Anyways, this guy you could tell has really good choices of modifying cars he has a hood exit what is that look a tacoma back there i don't fucking know it's a toyota of some sort but uh yeah you got the hood exit you got the max camber prius with mixed match panels because this car's definitely salvage title that eh, claims clean title bullshit anyways for a whopping 1950 dollars this has to be one of the cheapest cars we've ever looked at you could buy this yep this is what you could buy. Well, yep, you need that. You need that that bash bar and the the speed holes in the rear. Got to have that. Definitely a must. Got to get that fuel economy as high as possible. Yeah, he gutted the interior and then put the seats back in. I don't know why you would do that, but there are stupid people out there. Why would you take out the whole interior? Like, were you trying to make it fast? Like, this has made this makes no sense. I feel like if I had a Prius, one, I wouldn't do this. Two, I just wouldn't own a Prius probably, but at the same time, I wouldn't do this. And then why would I take out, go through the work of taking out all the carpet, all of the sound deadening, all of that, and then just put it back together? Like, why would, like, dude, he took out the headliner too? This is the fucking dumbest thing I've ever seen. And there's a reason why he's only asking $1,900 for it, because nobody will buy it. This guy literally ruined his car. Oh, look at that. That's genius. Yep. Let's just, you know, go ahead and just extend that bolt hole so we can just slide it out even more and get more camber perfect yep that's what we want very good very good also your brake line isn't fastened kind of sketch kind of you know a hazard yeah this thing's a piece of shit and um, the owner's probably a piece of shit uh wheels you can sell them for nine uh, 600 bucks leather seats 500 dollars. steering wheel and quick release 200 so he's trying to part out his sick build um the bc racing coilover is 950 that's like half his build hatch door panel with forever broke sticker 75 dollars. this guy is definitely broke if he's trying to sell this bad boy rear custom welded subframe so you can camber the prius 150 bucks muffler 100 bucks this dude's an idiot where is he from vancouver never going there never going there if there's people like this there never see me in vancouver ain't happening all right, next car, 1994 Nissan 240SX for 22 grand. Fuck. I feel bad for anyone that ever wanted one of these shit boxes. Ugh. 62,000 miles. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. This one you can find in Miami, Florida. All right, let's take a look at it. So it looks like it's got a little bit of wide body on it. Looks a little thicker than usual. It's got some deep concave wheels. The color combo, like the golf wrap. Okay. I like golf wrap, but if you're going to golf wrap your car, you better make it more noticeable than a single racing stripe and a fucking painted diffuser because there's just not enough going on, I feel. If you're going to do this, you can't half-ass it like this. Like This is like half of a golf wrap. There's not enough there. It looks incomplete in my opinion. A normal golf wrap looks like this. You see how they've got like orange like throughout the whole car, so you kind of understand. Sick. So you kind of understand like, hey, look, it's a fucking golf wrapped car, you know? You got orange throughout the whole car. Kind of all works its way together. You don't just see a little bit of blue and a little bit of uh, orange. It's throughout the whole car, okay? That's kind of the point of it. It's not this. This is, uh, this is the worst golf wrap I've ever seen, or paint job. If it's a paint job, that's even worse. 
Now underneath the hood, he does have the, uh, looks like the SR20 uh, turbo, so that's good. I mean, at least you got something there, but uh, you, you gotta add more orange. It just isn't enough orange. It looks incomplete. I don't know what to tell you. Like, like, why wouldn't you put a big Golf logo on the door and make this stretch all the way across? It would look so much better. So much better. I guess some people are just... Stupid. I've called too many people stupid this episode. I don't think it was stupid. It just, I feel like he was maybe hesitant to do it. And, uh, yeah, it, I could see why. Um, didn't work out. I now, now 22 grand for this. I might be a little bit too high also. It's, it's clean. Like, if this was all just the blue, super clean. Super good condition. Super clean. You know, I don't even think the dash is cracked. See? Yeah, complete uncracked dash. Uh, you got to get some sort of horn or something. But definitely a contender for a good car. It's just uh, there's some weird questionable shit. Like the wrap or color, that's one thing. Also, what the fuck is this weird incomplete shit up here? I don't know. That looks weird. The car just overall looks incomplete. Let's see his description. So yeah, it's an SR20 DET, 62,000 miles. That's pretty good. Five-speed manual offering at 21999 What a wild paint job on this one. Teal paint, well done. Golf stripes and logos are vinyl. There we go. That's key. That's key. So either you can add on top or you can take it off. So that's pretty good. So much fun to drive, blah, blah, blah. Uh, financing available. Oh, so this is a dealership. You'd probably sell it if you take off the Golf shit. Last car, we have a 2005 Chevrolet Corvette. He's asking 22.9 for this car. And uh, what a car this one is. So let's take a look at his photos. Um, he's got a... <laughs> <laughs> the literal midlife crisis car as midlife crisis as it can get oh my god this dude 100 percent loves hulk hogan like 100 percent loves him his idol or or guy fieri both of them probably both his idols i like the headlights that's the one thing he did that i like the rest of it needs to be put literally on fire the rest of it is bad like there i don't think there's a single other thing that i like the wing garbage straight trash like that is the worst wing i think you could ever put on a corvette the tail light covers the chrome flames garbage worst thing you could do to your corvette the flames on the actual exterior of the vehicle also fucking garbage this just looks stupid this looks like Someone spilled nacho cheese on the front end of your car, and then you just wiped off the headlights because you couldn't fucking see. That's literally what it looks like. Like, you got, uh, and it's got like a weird flaming goatee down here. Got some weird fucking flaming happy trail. You got your pubes showing out of your jeans. Uh, yeah, this is this is bad. This is real bad. Is it an automatic? What what are we thinking, guys? Automatic or not? Comment down below. Let's see. Uh, it might be manual. I don't see the the prindle. Nope, automatic. There you go. Yeah, you don't you don't see it here. You don't see it in park. Interesting. I didn't know that. But yeah. Nope. Automatic. Go figure. Who would have thought? Fake carbon fiber too. Gotta have that. Yeah, this thing's bad. Oh, God. And you know it's painted too. There's no way that's vinyl. If that's vinyl, take it off. Good price. Nah, it's still an automatic. What is it too? It's an Alice too. It's 05. Ugh. Surprised there's no flames underneath the hood, you know? That's where you would expect all the power and all the heat to come from. Oh, there's a little bit on the fuse box lid. Oh, there's a little bit there. How come they don't match? What's up with that? You have two different artists do that? Carbon fiber wing. There's, there's a flaming bald eagle in there. He's dying. He's on fire. This dude's a terrorist. Well, if you want the ugliest C6 Corvette you could find, this is a good contender. There's probably very little ones out there that will beat this. This is pretty bad. Um, between the, the random flames just throughout, like you got random flames above the tire. You got them coming out of the uh, vent on the side i don't know you got them on the side mirror there's just flames kind of going all over this car randomly it looks like they just sprinkled them on very poorly no accidents though so at least this old man can drive that's good and it probably wasn't abused very hard either so two good signs but it is an automatic so whatever anyways guys that is going to do it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did comment down below which car is the worst or if you had to pick one, which one would you take? Let me know. I'll read your comments. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you for today. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.